the Muslim Rights Concern, Murik and Islamic Group has stated that the list of commissioners unveiled by Governor Babajide Sanwulu of Lagos State failed to pass inclusivity and integrity tests. Sanwulu has transmitted 39 names for screening and confirmation as commissioners and special advisors designated to the State House of Assembly. According to a tweet on Friday by the Governor's Chief Press Secretary, Boyega Akosile, 30% of the commissioner nominees are women, while others are youth, technocrats, and politicians. Some members of the governor's cabinet during his first term in office made the list, while a number, hmm? I mean, some members of the governor's cabinet are now made the list, while a number of others did not. However, the executive director of Morik, Professor Ishak Akizola, in a statement on Saturday, said only eight of the nominees were verifiable Muslims. He added that Murik found it difficult to understand why a cabinet composition should be weaponized by the Lagos state government against Muslims. Akitola, who explained that it is a betrayal of trust, said Lagos Muslims voted a mass for Sonwulu, noting that Murik in particular came out openly to support his second term and persuaded fellow Muslims to drop their oppositions to the governor. He said the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwulu, yesterday unveiled the list of commissioners for the state. The list contained 39 names, but to our surprise, only eight of the nominees are verifiable Muslims. We find it difficult to understand why cabinet composition should be weaponized by the legal state government against Muslims. Ratio 31 to 8 face inclusivity tests. It also face integrity tests. What percentage is 8% out of 39? What is the rationale coming out with this atrocious ratio? This is exactly what we have been saying about the political marginalization of Muslims in the Southwest. It is a disease of the eyes not of the nose it needs no smelling we can all see and read the list it is all over the internet muslim groups all over the southwest are expressing satis dissatisfaction with this development we strongly denounce this deliberate and illegal attempts to deprive muslims of opportunities to partake in the governance of their environment it is illegal because section one for section 14 or 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria stipulates that the composition of the government of the Federation, a state, a local government, or any of the agencies of such government or council and the conduct of the affairs of the government or council or such agencies shall be carried out in such manner as to recognize the diversity of the people within its area of authority and the need to promote a sense of belonging and loyalty among all the people of the Federation. Sonwulu's proposed cabinet is therefore illegal, illegitimate, unlawful, and unconstitutional to the extent that it failed to be fair to the teeming Muslim population in the state. It will remain so until he reviews it and makes the list inclusive. Lagos Muslims have been rubbished by this list. It is a dirty slap in the face. This list is disgusting, repulsive, and therefore unacceptable. It is betrayal of trust because Lagos Muslims voted en masse for Sonwulu. Morik in particular came out openly to support his second term and we persuaded fellow Muslims to drop their opposition to the governor. But imagine this. Just imagine this. We are sending a note of warning to all political parties in the state. 2027 will not be business as usual. Don't come to lobby for us for vote if your candidate is not a Muslim. If the if it is the turn of Muslims in 2027 and we will vote massively for any party that picks a Muslim as its gubernatorial flag bearer. Morik has also no political tabula rasa. We are open to all parties. The welfare of Nigeria Muslim is our major interest. We will not hide that. Neither do we owe any one any apology for it. Hmm. Yes, sir. Muslim, Muslim. This useless Muslim, Muslim statement they are always making. They will never talk 
about the welfare you are talking of position when you give a one or two people or how many people position is that even the ones that they call themselves christians at the end of the day <laughs> are they gaining anything or you're just talking about the particular people because i don't understand this nonsense uh, position they are talking about the people you give a uh, this man is just a troublemaker because i don't want to go there but i just want to say the truth because to say to hit the nail on the head because the people who have been who have been nominated you say ratio 30 something to eight those ones that they have given appointments how is that how with the appointment translates to good governance to the welfare of the people where they are where the religion the past pra, practice how will it affect them positively because i don't understand this man is just there to cause trouble it's just there to cause wahala here and there no before anything well let them continue i'm a muslim but this is very unnecessary a governor should appoint people whose capacities and reputations are well known to him so that he can achieve what he wants to achieve that should be the calibration of any sensible leader come to kano my seat and see if a single christian is given commissioner despite the vast christian community we are having we must understand that by virtue of the constitution no nigeria is more nigeria than any nigeria this is a statement uh, aisha always like so court that is it that is it mm. you guys have have the president and the vice president what else do you want i thought you said the leadership is all about competency and not religion let us keep uh, deceiving ourselves it does not matter you just need capable people to work with backward mentality these are the kind of thinking that drags us backward honestly sometimes Sometimes I think I need to sue the process by which I was born into this country. This is not a sane environment where humans can afford their potentials. I don't think it is worth why bringing children to this environment. Of course, you are right. You are right. The mentality is so apt. President and vice president, you didn't complain. This man, I do not even know his name. Is seeking relevance, but unfortunately, is gradually constituting himself into Nizans, even among Muslims. This man will never disappoint. Of course, that is what is known for. That is why Nigeria cannot grow. Everything is based on sentiment. If not tribe, it should be religion over and above qualifications and competence. May God deliver this country. And you might be surprised that uh, even uh, the Lagos that you are talking about, they didn't even know whether Muslim or not. And everything just came just like that. Who can't they say whether you be Muslim? What has that got to do with what we are saying? Now they go see fight to say oh, that tribe they come. They do this and that. They, this and that. They Igbos this, Igbos that. Now, among themselves again, they are still talking about a religion. Religion cons- consciousness needed to be carefully looked into when political appointment is being given. This is Nigeria and it is for all. We are in Nigeria when the shout of Islamization was on the air. This was as a result of religion consciousness of our people. Come to Oshun State and see lopsided appointments by the government. So, governor, it is a fact our political leaders cannot not dodge in their appointments, period. What are you talking about? Does it make sense what you say? But religion has never been an issue in Yoruba land. Why is this coming, becoming issue now? Yorubas are Yorubas, and I notice that even have Muslims, Christians, parents, can a Muslim father treat his Christian wife or children? But you guys need to open your eyes. Don't copy blindness from the north. Hold on to who you are. Don't copy anybody. I serve in Oshu State where Muslims. Where Christians and Muslim students pray together in assembly and always coexisted. Don't change that or you will regret it in future. Religion of peace. Indeed, this is man, this man is an agent of division for the benefits of the political class against the masses. 